Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35. I just rolled out of bed, like, seven minutes ago. Because I open up my phone, and I go to Twitter, and I see, you know, I have notifications turned on for Nintendo's Twitter account, right? Uh, so, I see, a uh, Fortnite tweet, uh, Kirby tweet, uh, revive something, racing game, whatever. Oh, you know... The new title of the next Zelda game. <laughs> so, uh, I watched the first five seconds of this. And I was like, you know what? This is major news. I feel like I should capture my thoughts on this. Whatever this is. Whatever information this could possibly be. I want to put my face on the screen and you look at it. So. Konnichiwa. Zelda no densetsu. I don't know how loud this is, but. Producer of the Zelda series, I have an update to share on the launch timing of the sequel of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the, the sequel to, to Breath of the Wild. We previously announced that we were aiming for a 2022 release date of this game. So before he says anything else, I'm going to hope that he says that the game is delayed, so it can be as polished as it can be. There are too many games that are coming out this year, and it needs to chill. Because we just had Pokemon Legends Arceus, right? And there's also uh, the Mario Plus Rabbids sequel, uh, Splatoon 3. Um... A maybe possible new Mario game this year. There's all the Mario Kart DLC that's happening. Uh, and there's like a whole bunch of other things that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Because my brain is not functioning because I have been awake for 10 minutes. Long story short, there's like too many games. And it's not just Nintendo who's releasing too many games this year, right? So, please say that this is a 2023 game. Because I want to enjoy this game to the fullest. There's new Pokemon games this year. <laughs> Even more new Pokemon games. If this releases at all somewhere this year, I am not going to have time to play it. Please say 2023. We have decided to extend our development time a bit. And change the release date to spring 2023. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you. I think I think they know that that this game this the Zelda game is it's it's huge, right? It it needs to be huge. It's going to be huge. And they they know <laughs> that we want to play their video game. Kirby the Forgotten Land just came out, and I'm, we're doing a Let's Play of that. Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports, I'm not getting, but uh, Splatoon 3. Now now this is, is pushed the next year, thank god. But the new Fire Emblem Warriors, Legends Arceus, Bayonetta 3, Mario Strikers Battle League, Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, Triangle Strategy just came out. Sonic Frontiers is a game I forgot about. Um, Chocobo GP just came out. Um... Chrono Cross, the DLC to Cuphead, uh, Advance Wars, um, a whole bunch of other shit, right? For those of you who have been looking forward to the release this year, we apologize. As previously announced, the future, or the adventure in this sequel will take place not just on the ground, uh, as in the previous games, but also in the skies above. However, the expanded world goes beyond that, and there will be an even wider variety of features you can enjoy. Wait, that's new footage. What's going on with the Master Sword there? That's new footage. In order to make the games experience something special, the entire development team is continuing to work diligently on this game. So please wait a little while longer. <laughs> That's all for today's announcement. Thank you.
Okay, so I thought they were going to give a new title. Right? So, I didn't even read this full thing. It says, Lenda Zelda series producer A.G. Onuma has an update to share about the launch timing of the sequel to The Breath of the Wild. Um, so, it's not... I don't know why we're not getting a, the name of the game yet. But that just means that the name of this game is so tied to the story of Breath of the Wild sequel that we can't get the name yet until we know the confirmed release date for this game. Uh, and also, on top of all of the stuff that I just listed that I want to play this year, I have stuff over here that I that I want to play. I'm just going to grab like this whole stack of games. Uh, hold on. Because... Yeah, just grab all of this. So I have like all these all these games, right? So we've got uh I have uh, completely unopened still, uh the new WarioWare game that came out last year that I didn't get a chance to play yet. Uh New Pokemon Snap, I have not played at all, completely sealed. Uh I have streamed once the new Mario Party game and I want to play more Mario Party and haven't had a chance to. Uh Mario 3D World, right? I want to play the Mario 3D World port, and I've never, I've, I haven't even seen Bowser's Fury. I've probably watched, like, ten minutes of footage from Bowser's Fury. I don't even know how that game goes. We just finished Legends Arceus, right? Uh, Mario Golf, the new Mario Golf game. I don't really know much about it, and I really loved uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour growing up, but I, this is also completely sealed, right? Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread. I've got Metroid Dread right here. If you're seeing this video as it goes up, I'm doing right now my very first playthrough of uh, Super Metroid because I'm playing through all the Metroid games leading up to Metroid Dread, and then we're going to go through the Prime stuff. Uh, and if you want to see that, I'm recording this like an hour before I go live. So, you know, Metroid Dread, and then, you know, Kirby that we're playing right now. And also, like, other games, like Tiny Kin that I know of. Tiny Kin comes out this summer. So... I am so glad that the development team for this game is taking all the time they need to, um, all the time they need to make the Breath of the Wild sequel as good as it can be, uh, and also the fact that there's too many games to play this year. And even stuff that came out last year that I never got the chance to play. So it's a break for myself and a break for the development team to not crunch this game to release, like, holiday this year. I am so happy about this. So I wanted to capture my thoughts about all this on camera. Uh, so I'm going to go have breakfast, <laughs> quickly upload this. And uh, if you're seeing this as it goes up at uh, 4 p.m., EST, the day this video releases. I am live right now at twitch.tv slash pokeball35. Link in the description down below. Uh, I'm live with Super Metroid, my first ever playthrough of that. And also, subscribe to, the YouTube, if this, to this YouTube channel if you have not done so already. Uh, obviously, we'll be going through all of the Breath of the Wild sequel uh, once it releases. Whenever the heck that's gonna be. But spring next year is a good release window. Uh, that means somewhere in the range of February and May, something like that, of next year. So that's going to be fun. So I will see you uh, in whatever comes next.